When the Islamic State isn't making news for terrorist activities, they're grabbing headlines by appropriating trendy things from Western society in an attempt to appeal to our youth. Now, the latest publicity stunt, a hipster terrorist dude. Yakin is formerly a re regular Egyptian dude turned ISIS extremist. He is known for his curly mop and thick black room glasses and frequently tweets photos of himself brandishing giant swords and even gory images of decapitations. To make things even gnarlier, ISIS is also enlisting female members to blog about the joys of their lifestyle in the hopes of luring more Western women into ISIS. Obviously, this is really uncomfortable, but who exactly is doing ISIS's PR and social media accounts? You know what, honestly though, this is the reality of modern warfare. Yeah. You know, the US government went to Cuba, they set up a fake Twitter account there to have an uprising in Cuba yeah. to get uh, people to, to rebel against the government there. Um, should we, the question to me is, should Twitter, for this kind of subversive stuff, whether it's ISIS or the US setting up a fake Twitter, you know, over there uh, in Cuba, should we be taking this down? Should social media be taking this stuff down? I don't know that it should be taken down so much as I see when we call it hipster terrorism, mm -hmm. there's actually some sense of self-identification in that. Like we're, we like to paint terrorists and people who we're at war mm -hmm. with as this very distant other. And it's mm -hmm. like, it could never be us. Mm -hmm. A school shooting could never happen yeah, by yeah. someone we know. A mass murder could never be committed by someone we know. And so by calling them a hipster terrorist, that's like our own language. That's a big part of US culture and sort of yeah. modern Western culture. So I, I like the non-otherization of someone like that. What scares me though is the picture of the hipster terrorist that we, we couldn't get cleared for this show. Yeah. He literally looks in the before pictures like somebody from the Jersey Shore. He's totally yoked out yeah. and posing in the pictures. Something has happened in a very short period of time yeah. that ISIS has gotten a hold of him and in my opinion brainwashed him into doing things like this. And what's scary to me is that these people are effectively getting people to join their radical movement from Western culture. Well, it's only a matter of time, I think, as well, before we ended up in the age of selfie and self-promotion with a sexy psychopath. Yeah. yeah. This, is a, this is that version.